Hello everyone and welcome back. Shock horror, <laughs> my hair, it's back brown again. So yeah, I didn't like the blonde, I was sick of it. It wasn't how I wanted it. And uh, to get it how I wanted it, it would need more bleaching and stuff. And I didn't want to do that to my hair. So it's back brown, I much prefer it. So yeah, <laughs> right, today we are back in the apartment. We need to get all of this stuff cleared out um, and do a trip to the Duchetterie today. And then it's, this area is clear now, basically it's done. And then we can get upstairs and do the work we need to do upstairs. So you're the muscle today, Mo. Huh? Yes. <laughs> um, What's this? <laughs> huh? It's my hair. So, um, yeah, let's talk about Mo's vlog. We're going to film today a bit of it. And I think by the weekend, you'll have a video to get out, won't you? Maybe. Yeah. Because mm. it's not just as simple as filming a video. We need to make him an intro and stuff like that. No, and they will change my hair. <laughs> yeah, so Mo wants to go <laughs> blonde. What do you think, guys? Dye it blonde. And he keeps on about it. So I've gone back brown and Mo's going to go blonde. <laughs> and if it falls out, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> I have a heart and I'm men. Yeah. Right, so let's get some work done in here and then uh, that means that this space is completely ready to go and uh, we can then get upstairs get that ready in the same way and uh, and then we can start real works yes yeah. painting yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, everything. and this within the next couple of days i want to take you to another shop because i found another kitchen and i want to see what you think of this kind of kitchen um and i've literally just found it online and uh yeah let's uh let's go shopping guys as well <laughs> Break Billy's van, he's gonna kill you. Don't give him mine. Side last last bit. Are you going without me? No. Are we going to see more kitchens? Not today. Oh. Unless you want to go today. No, I don't want today. <laughs> we're going 
into the Duchettery, mate. In Billy's nice transit. Do you like it? Drive it good. It's good. Switch it with your car. <laughs> I hope it, it's not close. It's open. Ah. Let's see. There we are. The Chetri. That's good. So we have also been looking at paint colors for the kitchen because the kitchen is the first thing that we're going to put in and uh, hopefully we'll get that in within the next uh, few weeks, couple of weeks, hopefully. But <clears throat> well, I've been looking at paint colours um, for the wall and I showed you a picture in the last video of the kitchen inspiration that I had and I really, really like the, um, the pink kind of colour on the wall behind the kitchen. I think that really sets it off. So we're going to have that for the kitchen and I'm going to use it all the way throughout the downstairs because it's obviously it's all one open room. So I want to try and keep it all the same colour. So we are going to go for a little green paint because it is really great paint and the colour. Right and so the colour of the wall, it's not great on this camera actually. Let me go and find a bit more light. Dun, dun, dun. There's not much light because it's going to rain in a minute. <laughs> so the picture that I showed you had like a pinky kind of, um, what would you say, like a plaster pink colour on the wall. And this here, light peach blossom, is pretty much the exact same colour that was behind uh, the kitchen. Or you've got like a bit more of a darker colour, the same, but I, I like the light colour because it really does look like, pretty much like, um, you know, plaster pink. So yeah, that's the colour, light peach blossom, that we're going to put all the way throughout this room. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll get um, a tester paint pot, you can get it, um, from Murray's which is a painting and decorating shop in our town and they supply um, little green paint so we'll get a little paint pot and put it on the wall because the walls at the moment I don't think they've been they've been sanded a little bit they're still a little bit rough obviously there's going to be patches that we do need to sand but I'm going to test it on the wall to see what kind of finish it gives because I don't want like a perfectly flat wall because then it looks too modern. I want to try and keep the wall a little bit more, you know, like, I don't know how, a bit textured, but not really so that it looks more old fashioned. But yeah, so we will have to sand off some of the wall, but in terms of everywhere, I don't think it needs doing because, yeah. But yeah, so that's the idea. Um, like I said, I have found another kitchen that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we'll try and go there either tomorrow or, yeah, maybe not tomorrow, probably Friday we'll go and uh, I'll show you this kitchen. It is to die for. <laughs> so yeah. I'm very excited now because this floor, like I said, it's completely bare now. So all we've got to do in terms of getting this room ready is to move some electrics and put some, you know, new plug sockets and stuff where we want them before we decorate, because we don't want to be doing that, making holes in the walls after we've decorated. 
and then it is a case of getting the flooring down and then putting the kitchen in and i'm really excited and then obviously in between doing that we can do upstairs a bit that's just literally the same as what we've done here pulling out um bathrooms and wallpaper and stuff like that but we'll do that in between we don't want to film everything and bore you to death <laughs> but yeah so things will start moving very quickly now but yeah i want to get the kitchen ordered even if it's delivered we we're going to put it up ourselves either if it's ikea or if it's the one that i'm going to show you it is literally very simple to put a kitchen in so yeah we'll get it delivered and then we can get the room perfectly ready and yeah i'm really excited mm -hmm. 